trying to make my ponytail look cute and it's just not gonna happen today. <laughs> Hello me TVDs, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing another Halloween look. If you are new here to my channel, every Friday in October I'm doing a Halloween look or trying to recreate a Halloween look. Today's inspiration is this. So she has normal makeup except she is like a clown. So I have most of my makeup done except for the clown parts and the eyes. So again, this is what we're gonna be trying to recreate today. I'm not gonna do the neck part because I actually have to run. I'm actually going to my first haunted house event of the season. It's outside and it's in like a corn maze. If you're in Colorado, it's called the Haunted Field of Screams and it's in Thornton. So it's in like a 20 acre cornfield thing. So anyway, I've talked to my mom and my stepdad and my husband into going with me. I actually like kind of bribed them. I offered foot massages. I offered paying for meals. It's just the whole thing. I worked very, very hard to get them to agree to this because not everyone is as interested in scary things as I am, but they're willing to go and support me while I am out there enjoying the festivities of Halloween. Before we jump into the video, be sure to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on my future videos. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard time. So again, this is the photo I'm going to try and recreate. She does have quite a bit of glowy skin, so that is why I am super duper glowy. I have everything done on my face except for the clown part. First, I'm going to do my eyes. I have two different palettes here that I might go back and forth from. This is the Morphe The Little palette, and this is the shade Awesome Blossom because it does have these two reds right here which I think could work really well. And then I have the Naked Heat palette, which also has some reds, because as you can see, her eyes do have lots of red and then like a bright pop of white in the inner corner. So that's what we're gonna be trying to do. I'm gonna start building up the red in my crease. Let's start with this shade called Low Blow, just to start where are my brushes? I left my brushes in the other room. I got my brushes. So like I said, we're gonna start with the shade Low Blow right here. Start putting this into the crease on just a big fluffy brush. Let me know what final look you want to see from me. This one's gonna be a clown. The last one I did was a decapitated person where the head was separate from the body. And then the first one I did was a skull. So I'm setting down this first cliche just to give a little bit of dimension and a place for us to start. So I'm gonna go in with He Devil. It's this really pretty like dark mauvey matte red. Take the same brush, go back in the crease. She does have very, very dramatic bright, bright red shades on her lid. So that He Devil shade is just starting to redden up the crease a little. And I'm emphasizing that in my outer crease right here, just like in the outer V slash my crease. So what are your plans for Halloween this year? Let me know. What are you planning to do? Do you have any fun like Halloween parties or just hanging out watching movies? I think for my plans, I'm pretty much going to be at home watching scary movies. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this Morphe The Little palette. I'm gonna start working up, it's kind of like a purple red, and putting this in my outer V and really deepening up that outer part. So I'm primarily keeping this in the outer V area. Then I'm gonna add this shimmery red shade right here onto the first part of my eye. These little Morphe palettes are really great. I don't hear anyone really talking about them anymore. I don't know if they were limited edition, but it was the only bright red that I had in my collection that was a shimmer shade. Then she does have red smudged underneath her lower lash line, so that's what I'm going to do as well with a pencil brush. Take that same matte red shade right here, start buffing this under the lower lash line. Then 
Then I'm going to take a bright white shade and that won't be enough. So I'm going to take the spotlight palette. If this is uh, the shade pearl, I'm going to take this really white highlight shade, start building this up right in my inner part and then right underneath my lower lash line as well. This is almost like a job for the Mac. What's that? That pearl shade. That really, really, really white shade. I'm going to go see if I can try and find that white Mac shade real quick. I wasn't able to find that Mac shade, but I did find the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Iced Latte, which I think will work. Let's see if I can pick it up on this. Usually it's like a gel consistency, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to really pick it up at all. All right, that's what I needed. I'm just taking it on my finger right here, popping it on my inner corner. It's really hard to tell if she has eyeliner on. I think she does have black eyeliner on her waterline. So I'm gonna take this Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the shade Sleek Onyx or black. Put that all over my waterline. Before we do, eyelashes I think I need to draw the black on my eyes I think what I'm gonna do is take a pencil like this and draw out the line and then go over it with the black Mayron paint so she does go up over her brows so I'm just gonna try and I'm gonna see how this goes <laughs> Hers is like straight up and down. <laughs> I'm already screwing up. I feel like it looks like it's going this way. And that's not the look I wanted. Let's take this Mayron paint and we'll fix it. Okay, I'm going to take this black. Put it on a candle lid. Oh, so watery. I'm going to take this teeny tiny little brush right here. And this is the black Mayron paint. Go over it. Okay, look, we're making progress here. It does come up to a like thinner line up here, so I'm going to try and draw that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's what I was worried about. That it would like transfer onto, I mean, I might have to go down anyway. I'm going to draw the sides down here. And then she does have little drops at the bottom. I'm going to drag it down. Like the drops end like here. All right, now I'm going to emphasize the smaller pieces with some black eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now I'm going to draw down my eye connecting the two with the same tattoo liner. So I drew it all the way down my eye and I connected it at the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I think I might be running out of ink on this one. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. I'm going to add some mascara. So the eyes are done. Her lines are a lot thinner than mine. That's okay. And hers look like teardrops. Let's just make mine that way too. Those look more like teardrops now. She does have a cute little heart on her nose. So that's what I'm going to draw. I'm going to take this guy right here. This is the NARS uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Mysterious Red. I'm just going to draw a little heart on my nose.
That is the saddest heart ever. I'm thinking that's a little better. And she does have it kind of outlined by black just a little bit. I'm going to take the black from, the, I'm, it's just sitting here, this Morphe Dare to Create palette. It's the black right here. And I have to fix this heart. It looks so bad. And then she does have like a pop of white kind of like right here. I'm going to try and take it from this palette, the Naked Heat palette. This is just this white shade. And she does have more black up right here. And she has uh, more black at the bottom right here. So I'm just taking that same black eyeshadow, kind of blending it onto the heart. Then lips. That's pretty much the only thing left. She does have like smile lines right here. I'm going to fill in my lips with red and then draw the little lines up. So I'm taking the same NARS pencil. I'm going to draw a darker red on top of this because it's too bright for me. It doesn't look as much like blood. And then I'm just going to draw, like follow this up into a smile. I actually kind of like the look of having it not be so defined like it's a little smudgy which I like and she does outline it with some black so that's what I'm going to do I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that though so what I might do is outline it with some black liner first and then go in and smudge some black eyeshadow right there Wow, that looks really, really cool. My dimple kind of ruins it, but I'm actually really how this look turned out. I think this would be a very cool and relatively easy look to accomplish if you wanted to wear this out for Halloween. But yeah, I thought this was pretty easy to accomplish. Overall, it took me about 40 minutes to do just the clown stuff, but I think that this is a look that a beginner can do because obviously I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!